All right, folks, this is Pitching Ace 88. We are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Ch case number 52, chapter number three, A Brave New World. Let's unlock this, figure out, talk a little bit more to this thief. Lead Inspector Ace, come quick. I've just caught a thief trying to sneak into the evidence room. They wanted to steal the Crimson Order chalice. Wait, uh, who? When I locked him up, he kept saying he was the famous Ashton Cooper. Huh. Now, why would Ashton be so in interested in the Crimson Order's ritual cup? I don't know, but I also confiscated Al Ashton's metal detector. It looks suspicious. Well, let's go question him. And you're right, Ace. We also need to re-canvas the crime scene to make sure we haven't missed anything important. Alright, let's investigate this fool. I realize I shouldn't have tried to steal the Crimson Order Chalice, but is it at least possible to get a cup of coffee? Why don't you start by telling us why you wanted the Crimson Order Chalice in the first place? I simply wanted to destroy it. If the truth got out that the Crimson Order existed, it would overshadow the beautiful history of the city. Not to mention that they're dangerous. Just look at what happened to Stuart when he tried to expose them. Or maybe you decided to kill Stuart before it's discovered that the Crimson Order became the talk of the town. Absurd. I'm one of the most famous people in the city and beloved by many for organizing the Grimsboro Oyster Festival. I wouldn't throw all that away for just one trivial murder. Uh, yeah, I think you might, actually. Well, good idea, Ace. And you're right, to remind us that Pip Huckabee got murdered on that ship, now's our chance to solve that cold case once and for all. And if you guys are wondering what those beeps are, it's because I get people commenting on my stuff all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Hut in the garden. Alright, so we got wheelbarrow, where's corn? I want to know where at least a little bit of this stuff is. That's There's corn, neon sign. Sun, neon sign. Oh. <clears throat> corn, wheelbarrow, glasses. Those are important. Yep. Chainsaw and pumpkin. Yeah. Knew those glasses were important. Oh my goodness, those glasses you found belong to our victim. And there seems to be something stuck on them. Ace, your forensic skills are called upon. Uh, yes they are. But, let's investigate the main deck. Ah, so I see my story left you wanting more, eh? Well, the tale of my ancestor and his pilgrim ship is an ageless one. Let's pick up where I left off then. Ah, yes, this is my favorite part of the story. Lead Inspector Ace, just close your eyes as you travel back to the pilgrim ship in the winter of 1642. Aboard the Bil pilgrim ship, 1642. Ah, there's been a crime foul, most foul. You join the others on deck. We'll find that scurvy leech in no time. Dun dun dun. Alright, British flag. Lantern. Scroll. Well, I'm not finding anything. Well, there's a water pump. Sky chart. Locked chest. And the scroll is probably going to be something. Why do I not see it? Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, it's right on top of the the barrel. Alright. Open your eyes and come back to reality, Lead Inspector. Oh, what a story. I could almost feel the biting cold on that ship. Herman, Lead Inspector Ace is interested in that treasure chest and that parchment you described. Would you happen to have them in your attic? Well, you're in luck, Lee Inspector Ace. You can have them, but they won't reveal their secrets so easily. Wow, look at the complicated lock mechanism on this ancient treasure chest. Just imagine, Ace, this treasure chest has been waiting for four centuries for you to come along and finally break the code. What about this faded parchment? It's known better days for sure, but do you think you could recover some of it? Uh, yes I do. Alright, cool. We got a whole bunch of things to examine. And I have a whole bunch of stars in which to examine them. Uh, 
Nice. Ooh, hairs. I always like, always like it when we can find hairs. Oh, fibers. Friends of Seals are out of this world, Ace. So what'd you find stuck in your victim's glasses? Fibers? Come on, let's pack them off to Grace. Yep. What is this, gonna be 12 hours? Yep. As always, we're gonna have the two 12-hour ones. Alright, so we're gonna go, no, we're gonna go E. It's gotta be E, that's, that's not D, it's gonna be B. That's not a C, that's gonna be an O. Yep. It's not always what the first one appears to be. Well, I'm beyond impressed, Ace. You managed to crack the 400-year-old block on that ancient treasure chest without even breaking a sweat. There seems to be a lot of things inside. Will you do the honors of searching through it, Ace? Heck yeah, I will. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it before the parchment. Ooh. Crimson Order, nice. Great job, Ace. What is this Crimson Road doing inside that ancient treasure chest? Oh my goodness, you're right. That is the Crimson Order symbol on it. Do you think this robe is what all the Crimson Order members wore? Even though this robe is four centuries old, we should still send it over to Grace. She might be able to tell us more about it. Oh, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool, actually. Oh, ten minutes. Shoot. That's crazy. Alright, let's see. First trial of the new more Duncan McCoy for cannibalism. Oh my gosh. Wow, excellent work, Ace. You recovered the text from that ancient parchment as if it was written just yesterday. All that text is quite a mouthful, but it seems that Duncan McCoy was put on trial in 60, 1642 for cannibalism. You're telling me Duncan McCoy ate another human being? Ugh. And you're right, Ace. Our victim's ancestor, Re Reginald Huckabee, was acting as judge and sentenced the whole McCoy family to a life of poverty. Do you think that's how the 400-year fight behind be between the Huckabees and McCoys started? I agree, Ace. We should question Chris McCoy about this whole cannibalism story. I just hope the taste for human flesh doesn't run in the family. Uh, yeah, I agree. That would be, uh, not a good thing. Chris, Lead Inspector Ace found out that the Huckabees charged your ancestors with cannibalism back in 1642. For bleep's sake, you're not going to start with that too. The whole city knows about it, thanks to Stuart. Heck, because of that story, I don't even eat meat or fish. Though, okay, I do eat oysters from time to time, but still. It was freezing cold back in 1642. People were dying of hunger. It was eat or die, and all Duncan did was try to survive. Please tell me it wasn't a child that Duncan ate, was it? Child, don't be sick. Duncan ate an old man who was going to die anyways. That's like the circle of life stuff right there. And leave me alone, my tea break's coming up, and I don't want to waste it by talking about the past. Wow. Wow. What a guy. Well, anyways, guys, I'm going to wait about 10, 15 minutes, and I'll be right back. See you guys in a bit. Alright, folks, let's figure out what this Crimson Order robe is. I studied the Crimson Order robe you found in that treasure chest, and it dates back to 1642. Because the treasure chest was hermetically sealed, the Crimson Order robe hadn't aged a day since. This allowed me to find some salvageable specks of blood on it. Blood which matches the DNA of Pip Huckabee. That means whoever murdered Pip was wearing this robe and was a member of the Crimson Order. You're right, Ace. It all adds up. We already know that the Crimson Order held their secret rituals above or the ship. What if the child surprised them during their ritual? Thanks for your work, Grace, and sadly we can't arrest this past killer. If we can't offer some answers to the child's descendants, what do you say we go tell Susan about our discovery aids? Ah, Lead Inspector Ace, why don't you come in for a cup of tea and a piece of pie? Susan, Lead Inspector Ace has discovered that Pip Huckabee was murdered by the Crimson Order, and we thought you deserved to know the truth. I was hoping you'd never find out, Lead Inspector Ace. Some past events are best left forgotten. Wait a second, you knew and yet you decided not to tell us? The whole family is known for generations because Pip's mom, El Alma Huckabee, quickly found out the truth. Well, if she knew, why didn't you do anything about our boy's murder? She tried, and that's when the Crimson Order turned up at Elm's door Elma's doorsteps all those years ago in 1642. You, you killed my son, you, you monsters. Your son returned to the ship and disobeyed the rules. He had to be punished. 
but you killed him. You won't get away with this. Let this be a warning, Elma. If a Huckabee ever spills our secret, you will all die. Elma didn't have a choice. She swallowed the secret like a bitter pill to protect her family. And from one protective mother to another, we've always kept the secret safe within the Huckabee family. Until Stuart started to dig up this whole crimson story again. What a chilling story, and even that cup of tea Susan gave us didn't help warm my insides. Susan said this Crimson Order would always keep an eye on the Huckabees, so what if they killed Stuart to silence them? Well, thanks to all your great skills, we now know the Pilgrim Child was murdered by the Crimson Order. And now that all that's left to do is find out who murdered Stuart. I agree, Ace, since we know both, know both murders are connected, it sounds like a good idea to return to the Natural Harbor to look for the evidence we're missing. I knew we were missing one more. One more 12 hour evidence. Alright. So we got book, life jacket, cave, exclamation marks. Yes, a cloud, tentacle. Diving helmet, a rope, vase. Oh, that's a beach volleyball, my bad. <laughs> uh, dragon fossils here, flask. See, I, I swear I go back to this again and I don't remember the flask. Oh, there it is. Probably has the T in it, though, to be honest with you. Inflatable boat, and then there's the face. Yeah, that was not one of my finest hours. So Ace, what did you find in the natural harbor this time? A tea flask? Ooh, it looks like it's hardly been used. Dibs. Oh, you're right. We know our killer was here and that they drink tea. Can you take a closer look at it, Ace? That was my point, Jones. That was my point. Oh, Jonesy. Looks like that we might have some saliva. That's always good. Excellent work, Ace. I'm sure Grace will be able to tell us what this substance from the killer's flask is. Yeah, she will, because we're at 70%. We're really close to big solving this murder. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in 12 hours. Later. Alright, folks, let's figure out who killed this guy. I analyzed those fibers you found stuck in the victim's glasses, Ace, and I can assure you they are not from your victim's clothes. The killer must have hit your victim during the attack, and that's when the fibers got stuck in the glasses. After placing these fibers under the microscope, it turns out they are from a classic striped t-shirt. Ooh, an Ace of style, so we can't fault the killer for wearing that. But with Ace hot on their heels, they'll still have to swap it for an orange tracksuit. I- it's- so it is the guy. It's the guy with the, uh, soda can. I believe. I mean, could be wrong. Let's keep going. Well, I took a look at the unknown substance you collected from the tea flask you found in the natural harbor, Ace, and it turns out it's saliva. It's your killer saliva, to be exact. I know this because I also found microscopic blood particles from your victim on the edges of the flask. Well, sadly, it wasn't easy to extract usable DNA from the simples from the saliva sample, and the only thing I can be certain about is that your killer has blue eyes. I can't wait to stare into the killer's deep blue eyes and listen to Ace read them their Miranda rights. Okay, Ace, after solving the cold case, you ready to make the rest of the 21st century? Uh, yes I am. Pretty sure I know who it is. Oh, he doesn't have blue eyes. Oh, it's his sister. I didn't even see that she had the striped shirt. Very interesting. Susan, you're under arrest for the gruesome murder of your brother, Stuart Huckabee. I did what I had to protect my family. How on earth would killing Stuart protect your family? Recently, Stuart became obsessed with proving to the world that the Crimson Order killed Pip, but that secret was meant to stay in the family. I begged Stuart to stop, but he didn't listen, and that's when I started seeing the Crimson Order everywhere. I looked. It was obviously a warning. You mean just as they had warned Elma Huckabee, they were now warning you to keep the secret or die? Exactly. I'm a mother. I couldn't risk putting my whole family in danger, so I killed Stuart before the Crimson Order killed my entire family. You slashed his throat open and pulled his tongue out? 
It was a message to the Crimson Order. I was promising them that we would talk no more. My family's safe. That's all that counts. Now take me to prison. Susan Huckabee, you are being charged for the horrific murder of your only brother, Stuart. However, we've agreed to reduce your sentence. You've a crop white writ. The lead inspector Ace tells everything you know about the Crimson Order. I can't talk. The Crimson Order will kill all of my family if I do. Susan, we will protect your family and keep you all safe. We promise. You just don't get it, do you? Nobody is safe from the Crimson Order. The only way I can protect my family is by not talking. Well, very well. Since, you're re since you refuse to cooperate, I hereby sentence you to life imprisonment. Court adjourned. Uh, I still can't believe Susan was ready to kill her own brother just to appease a secret society called the Crimson Order. We know for a fact that the Crimson Order exists back in 1642 and used violence and intimidation to ensure that no one would ever reveal their secret. But do you think Stuart and Susan were right and the Crimson Order really does control the city ace? I'll bet you has a link as to why he shot himself, why Chief King did that. But anyways, guys, stay tuned as we go to the additional investigation. See you guys all later. This has been Pitching 888. Over and out.